YouTube. This video is going to be uh, my son Ethan interviewing me and I had a fun time doing it. I hope you guys enjoy watching it. Also, I have a book on Amazon and uh, I'm going to put a link in the description and you, if you want to go check it out, you can. Thank you. Well, here we go. What do you think was the crappiest piece of tech in the prison? The crappiest? Like, where you can tell they did not put any effort into it. Probably their old computers before they switched. Their old computers? Right. Yeah. And back when I first got to prison. But that, they had the same ones that, I, you know, everybody had. Because they had big black yeah. computers. I mean, cheap for the time. Yeah, it was cheap for the time. They probably got the cheapest they could get. Yeah. How about, like, tech that you actually use in the prison? That the prisoners use? Yeah. So are you talking about, like, stereos and... Stereos, TVs, anything. That kind of tech. Well, they did buy the cheapest... Uh, Stuff you could, they could? Yeah, the old TVs were... The big block ones? Was yeah. KTV. Have you ever heard of that? KTV? No. I think it's made in Korea. I think that's why it's called. Korea. I'm actually never. Fun fact here, I've never seen a TV with a KTV branding. Even the TV from their prison that I got didn't have KTV on it. Right. Well, the old ones did, and I think the K stood for Korea, so I think it was Korean TV. And the box TVs I've seen on YouTube, they said Samsung on it. They're made by Samsung, <laughs> which I think is quite funny for being a cheap brand. Right. Well, these we didn't have those, you know. You didn't get Samsung, that was too expensive. And then the first flat screen we had was the giant. Yeah. I mean, I wonder, what do you think was the failure rate on those flat screens? The first ones? Yeah. Like 90%. 90% failure rate? Yeah. There was, there was something wrong with every one of them. Yeah. Somebody was always having a problem with one of them, one thing or another on there. How about after they switched to digital? Well. From analog to digital. When they first switched the analog to digital, we was getting all kinds of channels. Channels they did not want us to have because the governor, uh -huh. Matt Blunt, uh -huh. said that the prisoners weren't there for vacation and that they didn't need to see anything that was rated R or, or above. Yeah. So when they went to digital, all of a sudden we got all these channels and some of them was more than rated R. Yeah. I mean, they was like, Pretty graphic, so and they put a filter in that caused a bunch of glitching things on the channels you did get right for a while. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I don't know where I heard this from, but I remember hearing that sometimes you get the channels that they tried to block, but uh, they're unwatchable. Yeah, they were, they was like a bunch of pixels, you know. Yeah, and once in a while they, they'd, be, they'd clear it for like a second or two and then go out, you know. Yeah. You know, we had like chill and other things, you know. What do you think a person had done with a prison tech they think was that tech was never designed to do? Something that a prisoner then? Yeah. Well, I do know, and I ain't going to mention his name because he's probably still doing it. Guy knew is, uh, he would uh, go into the back of the TVs, you know, where, you know, I have the t back of the flat screens, like the one I brought home had the little screw things uh -huh. for computers. He went in there, ran a wire up to the switches, put the thing back in, uh -huh. or you hook a cable up to it, yeah. and you could sit back on your bed and you could switch the channels. Yeah. It was purposely designed not to have an RF. Like an R, like a infrared reader on it for the remote. Right. And I think the remotes use that for it, right? Right. You know they. Uh, uh, 
even the ones we got that was had they didn't give us the remote with them. You know? Yeah, the wireless remotes. Uh, or just they just didn't they they open the box, they sell the TV, right? But and then they take the remote from the TV and then they throw in the trash or sell it or whatever. And you know they have all these things on the, the um, TVs that they had that were locked and stuff. Huh? So they had a u- universal remote, remote. You had to go down to the bubble and ask for give them your ID. They give you this universal remote that works with it. Yeah. So you had to turn the remote back in because you had to get your ID back. Yeah. Which is quite a smart way. You only needed that universal remote to change like the picture settings and stuff. Right. I think some TVs had like buttons on it that you could do to change the settings on like on the TV. You could change some things. Yeah. yeah. There's some things you couldn't. You know. On a on a, but it was the person on the person TV I had. You could go through the full menu right. with those buttons. Right. Yeah. Uh, the lock thing was just for something different. I don't know. What, maybe it's rental control or something. I don't yeah. Know. Which would have probably, rental control probably would have been a better way to block the channels, but I'm not going to talk about that today. What do you think? Right. Because you can literally enter in channels and the TV will just skip over those channels when you're going through them. It is uh, kind of strange that. Um, here in, at least here in Missouri, they're treating the, the adult prisoners uh-huh. as if they're children, and they're they can see less things than you watch. Isn't that a, yeah weird? You know, they got restrictions; they can't have watch rated R or anything. Yeah, I'm kind of out of frame. Yeah, I think it's good. What do you think? Is I have to think about this next question here because I can't really. I don't really think about anything. What do you think is the silliest restriction on tech that you've had, or silly rule about them? The microphone. The microphone. I think the rule isn't silly, but the the way that that story you already explained that story, so you're not even gonna talk about it. The way that they. Had that, had that remote or had that TV, or whatever. It was the stereo. Yeah. yeah. Had the stereo, with the the, the factory antenna in there with the like a microphone. Yeah. 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 You went down to Radio Shack, bought yourself a, a remote. You can't just in prison. You can't just leave the prison. Right. Go radio, to Radio Shack. And there's one. They's trying to say that I got the the micro the mic from somewhere. And I, I didn't. They just forgot to take it out when they sold it to me. Yeah. And uh, some, and uh, some TVs, some uh, in this one video, they both sort of took the speakers from the TV. And they opened it up. They took the speaker out. Put it back together. That's because uh, they didn't want them to annoy the the noise. You, the only way you could use it that way is with the headphones. Yeah. I mean, that's a good idea to keep people from turning it up. Yeah. But if you did turn it up too, I think yours, they did have a speaker, but if you turned it up too loud, they'll be like. Yeah, they they didn't really trip on that too much. You know, they, they didn't care. But if they did come by and it was a little too loud, they'd tell you to turn it down a yeah, bit. They'd point down, like, you know, it means to turn it down. Yeah. What do you think is this, besides. The prison story, the uh, stereo story. What do you think is the what do you think is the stupidest reason you've gotten in uh that room, whatever it's called? I forgot. So. The cell, no, not the cell. The uh, like the the penetrary punishment thing after you do something wrong in the prison oh the hole yeah why did i go stupidest reason i went to the hole besides the mic thing yeah it would have to be um the, the glue off of boxes that i didn't even have anything to do with the glue off of boxes and when i worked in canteen for about a month uh-huh. two of the other workers were taking apart the boxes that the stuff comes in 
because the guy wanted the glue. He wanted to take it back because he wanted to make, use the, the glue to, to glue some stuff together. Huh? I was just standing there watching. You didn't do anything about it? No. I, I, didn't, I mean, she's going to get in trouble. It's not my fault, right? I didn't know he was even going to get in trouble. Oh. The next day, they rose all up. And we all went to the hall. Every last one of us. There are multiple halls in the cold room. Mm-hmm. There's a whole housing unit. Yeah. And there's nothing but cells that were nothing but the hall. Yeah. And uh, the, about the hall, is it just a room with a light that never turns off and no windows? Is that correct? It's got a window. Uh-huh. It's got a light that stays on. Uh-huh. I think sometimes, like, way late at night, they might turn it off. But I'm not sure about that. Because uh, every time I see this on. Um, then... You, you, you ain't got none of your property, so you ain't got none of your TVs, your stereos, no, you ain't got nothing. Yeah. Except for a few things, clothes to wear down there. And you know, you're never out of your cell until you, at all. You can't make phone calls except when you get off and you're waiting to come back out. You have, you're on the administrative segregation. They take you out for an hour. Uh, you've told the how stupid this class was to me before. I think you know where I'm going with this, but I don't think you've said it on YouTube before. You want me to tell the audience? Yeah, tell the audience the computer class that you took before leaving prison. Okay, so they want to be more in frame. They sent, edge. they sent me to Algoa Correctional Center. Yeah. And my caseworker said he wanted me to take this class that was... To uh, help integrate me back into society with the tech world, he said. So you did. So I went there and I took it. So and you know they have inmates that already know this stuff, helping you know. And they have these old. It wasn't these flat computers like we got. It was kind of the older ones. You know? CRT ones. Cube. Yeah, and so. I mean, they wasn't like real big, but they wasn't small either, you know. So. He gets me on here, and uh, he goes, I'm going to teach you how to use the internet. And he has all these icons on the screen. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And he said, so, like, if you want to go here, you click here. And he clicked on I said, hey, uh, I know how to click on icons. How are you going to teach me about the internet without the internet? Because <laughs> we're not allowed to have the internet in there, right? Yeah. And he goes, I'm, I, I am telling you. Telling you, you know, what icons to click on and stuff, you know. Yeah, but that's stuff you already knew. That's stuff that you probably did on the computers you had in 1980. It was. And uh, so I said, look, dude, in the 80s, I said, I know not a whole lot of people had computers, but my my family did. Some of my family did. And I said, I know how to click on icons. I what? said, I want to know. How to use the internet. I want to know how to navigate the internet. He goes, well, you click on this icon. Like, if you want to go here, you click on this. Yeah. I'm it's done. The link. You click the link. And I said, then what? Then what? Like, how do I go back after I'm done clicking on something? Right. Like, uh, let's say I go to this website or whatever. And it tells me to do other things that I don't know nothing about. Do you know what they should have done? And I'm pretty sure it would have taken no effort at all to do this. Make a limited access internet for you to teach on. What do you think? Something because, you know, that wasn't working. I told him, I said, this class is a waste of my time and your time. And so I, I never did go back. They don't even have to, they, you know what? They don't even have to have, have the computers connected to the full internet. They can just make a example because in computers you can make like HTML files and stuff right. that are websites stored on the computer. They could have made a network like that just to show you how the internet works, how pages work and stuff. What do you think? It would have been better than what they was doing. Yes. But I told them it was a waste of time and I never went back. I told the caseworker, I said, I- I'm not going back to that. And he goes, why? It's helpful. I said, it- they're not showing me anything that I don't know already how to do. And he goes, and I told him about what I was talking about. He goes, you know how you click on the icons. I said, 
I was doing it in the 80s. Yeah. You know, I said, I, I know our computers are we're not advanced as they are now, but they still had icons. Yeah, they still had icons. They still had a UI graphical user interface on the screen that you could go around and, like, right. I mean, some of the older computers ran MS DOS. Um, you don't have to be very old because MS DOS was in use for a long time. So, ever since like the nineteen, like nineteen seventy nine, I think, was when MS DOS started being made. Now, I can see that they're like from like the early nineteen eighties, maybe. That they may have had computers. But they were like they didn't have icons. All you could do was type into them. Yeah, well, you know, my uncle uh, on my mom's side, uh, he worked at a computer place, and so we always got to do stuff. You know, yeah. A lot of times we get like toys and stuff at Christmas that uh, hadn't even been out yet. Yeah, uh, you know. So we got them before they just, you know. So Why? it wasn't like we had old computers. Yeah, you had the latest stuff that they could get. Right. Sometime later than what most people could get. <laughs> because they were just either too expensive or literally did not exist. Right. And uh, they, they they existed, but just not. Yeah. They wasn't out yet. Well, existed for consumers to buy yet. Right. And you know what? I think. What do you think of? Modern prison tech, the tablets and phone and stuff that they're getting. Oh, I think it's great. They ain't getting phones, but they're getting tablets. Yeah. They, um, I think it's a great idea. I mean, it been nice to have that when I was there. It's kind of funny it came out as soon as I left, you know. But, yeah, the tablets are small, four yeah. inches, seven inches. But, I mean, they're yeah, better, than better than nothing. No. I think they even have like limited access to the internet now, maybe. No, but they can download. Supposed to be able to download books and some games. Oh, oh let's just let's fuck up. They're not gonna be able to download like some of the games that yeah. they, you know, just these little right. simple games. This I I proposed this idea to you like a long time ago about a more limited Facebook, maybe like a prisoner network of for Facebook. They can post things like limited. Maybe they are they can be censored by the by the prison moderators or whatever. You talking about? Or they can talk to people out here? Yeah. No, not outside. But to other prisoners. Yes. No, the prison ain't gonna allow that. Yeah. I mean, they don't even like you writing letters. Letters from one prison to another. Oh yeah, but they only need to talk to the outside. Right. I I don't understand that. Oh yeah. Okay. So here's the. You cannot, you cannot talk to the other prisoners. That, that, no, you don't do that. But what you can do is you can talk to somebody from the outside, like your family yeah. members. That okay. could just easily be smuggling something. Right. Well, you can write people in other prisons. That you can tell that they, they don't like you doing that, and they'll find any way to stop it. I mean, one of my friends got transferred, and his letter got sent back to me because there, there was a couple lines in German. And they just accused of starting a racist group, which was not the case. He was just trying to learn German. Mm -hmm. I was trying to help him, so I, I knew he didn't know a lot, so I just write a couple lines, you know? Like, how are you doing, you know? Did they not even try to translate to German? If, if you know German in prison, mm -hmm. or you're trying to learn German in prison, then you must be a racist. That's how they think. That's... Is racist within itself, I think. A good job, buddy. That's that. Being biased against a certain ethnic group, right? Yeah. No. So they didn't say nothing to the Mexicans, writing Spanish all the time, you know. Yeah, but German. Oh no, you can't talk German. Germany is like the racist country, right? <laughs> right. That's the way they think. <laughs> right, so I got a question to ask you. Yeah? So you and your mom and everybody have been doing this editing. Uh -huh. 
So, are you tired of seeing my face? No. You not? I mean, I've gotten very familiar with your face. <laughs> you, when you go on YouTube and you see my face, do you, you don't go, oh, man. No. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I was already tired of seeing your face a long time ago. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. I mean, I have to see your face every single day. Right. Even before you started YouTube. Right. But what I'm saying is that the YouTube, I I get tired of going to YouTube and I'm wanting to watch something and one of my videos pop up, you know? Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this today's episode. Make sure you comment. Like. And subscribe. And See ya. Share. See ya.